seven months. That's exactly how long Deontay Wilder has to prepare for his trilogy fight, the third fight against Tyson Fury. Because everywhere I'm looking, every freaking article that I'm coming across, they're all saying the same thing. They're all saying that because of the coronavirus, I call it the virus that likes to cancel all major sporting events across the globe. Because of the coronavirus, uh, they're talking about postponing or rescheduling this trilogy fight for sometime in October, which means that's seven months away. It was originally supposed to happen in in the summer, in July, uh, in, uh, I believe, the same place, MGM Grand. So it's it seems like it's going to happen unless... Uh, the coronavirus miraculously disappears and then they stop doing this bullshit and, and everything gets back to normal uh, schedule. But it doesn't seem like it's going to happen. Uh, which means, in a way, this is a good thing for Deontay Wilder because that only means that he has more time to prepare for somebody like uh, Tyson Fury. Right? Seven months. Now, do I think that that's going to make any difference in... Uh, Deontay Wilder's chances in maybe regaining his belt. Personally, I don't. Although I might be wrong, this is boxing. I mean, maybe Tyson Fury doesn't come in shape. I, I hope, I hope Tyson Fury doesn't go back or revert back to, you know, gaining weight. I hope that doesn't happen. That's why I want him to be active. I want Tyson Fury to be active because I worry about Tyson Fury because sometimes he gains weight. I don't want him to like gain weight or anything like that. Or like, you know, and then come into the fight, like a little bit overweight or whatever. Uh, that's why if, if, it, if it was up to me, I would have Tyson Fury fighting every like two, three months. Cause I think the best way, like for a person like him, he needs to be fighting constantly. I don't like it. Like when he has massive layoffs, cause I always like worry and think that he's going to go slip back into depression or some shit. And then if he's going to, you know, he's just, he's going to fall off again. So that's why it's, it's kind of annoying if this fight does take place then, because that means he's gonna he's gonna be coming off a like eight month layoff anyway. If Tyson Fury doesn't, uh, if that you know, if Tyson Fury stays disciplined during these eight months, I mean seven months, and he doesn't balloon up in way he doesn't like start binging or anything, uh, I still see the same result happening. I still see Tyson Fury winning. I do think that Ty- that Deontay Wilder could do uh could change his style up a bit to make it better for himself against Tyson Fury. For example, like throw his jab more. I actually thought that Deontay Wilder did a better job in the first fight than he did in the rematch because in the first fight he was actually throwing a uh, a jab and he was connecting on Fury. He even made he even had Tyson Fury bleeding in the nose. So in the in the rematch, he neglected that and he just got mauled. So I think he should go back to that and actually try and throw more jabs. You know, I do think that you know a fighter can improve. Although when it comes to somebody like Deontay Wilder, because he's a guy that dep- that is very he's he's he has that puncher's mentality where he thinks he could just knock somebody out. Uh, they kind of neglect other aspects to their game, and that's why. In like 15 months from the first fight in 2018 to the rematch in February of 2020, Wilder didn't change at all as a fighter because he didn't improve at all. Because during the, those whole 15 months, he was, like I said, he was just thinking he could knock any, everyone out. And I think Wilder's one of those guys that he just trains his right hand to perfection. Uh, so, yeah, Wilder has to stop doing that. Uh, you know, if, if Wilder wants any chance against... Uh, Tyson Fury, he needs to stop having the puncher's mentality and in, in, in these next seven months, focus on other parts to, of his game. That's the only way he's going to be able to beat uh, someone like Tyson Fury. But I still don't think it's going to happen. I, I don't think that, Ty, that Deontay Wilder at 35 has he's going to be able to change his style enough to beat Fury. I think you got to rough up Fury. I think you got to be aggressive against Fury. And Wilder is, doesn't have the size. You know, Fury's so much bigger. And he was manhandling Wilder in the inside like a rag doll. I don't think Wilder has the size, the, the physical size, to bully Tyson Fury. I think you need to be strong enough to fight Fury in the inside because I think you need to rough up Fury to beat him. So I still think Fury beats Wilder, um, even if he does have more time. You know, that's just my opinion on it. Wilder, Wilder has seven months. Let's see what happens.